Hi, and welcome to PR Strategies. I'm Michelle Safi, PR Specialist with Best Friends in Los Angeles. I'm excited to give you the strategies that will help you successfully develop or enhance your PR efforts. Sure, it looks easy, those cute pet segments on TV, but there's a lot that goes behind making that magic happen, starting with who makes a good TV pet? Staff and volunteers all have their favorites that they may want to go on TV, but not everyone is a good candidate. Here are the traits of a solid TV pet. They should be calm and easygoing, people friendly, okay with being held and handled, not spooked by noise, equipment, or commotion, and enjoy or tolerate car travel. It's always wise to do a test run with the pet you'd like to take on TV. For dogs, that means going on a short drive to make sure they're okay with car travel. You should also try putting a camera about five feet away from their face to see if they're comfortable around equipment. For cats, you'll want to consult with your cat team to see if they're amenable to crating and transport. You'll also want to fit your cat with a harness, which they should wear from the time they leave the center to when you return. Trust me, the last thing you want is a cat to go rogue and try to escape when you're on camera. A harness will help you keep control over the cat and keep them safe too. Here's a pro tip. Bring along a to-go bag with these items. That'll help you prepare for almost anything. Wipes are great for that last minute touch up, especially if a pet is prone to tear stains. Treats and toys are a good choice to keep pets focused. Poop bags, well, those are pretty self-explanatory, but they can work well for cats or dogs. Most of the time, cats can go several hours without having to use a litter box, but if you have a chute that's going to take many hours, bring along a tray and litter to keep your cat comfortable. Dressing for success applies to pets as well as people, especially when it comes to being in the spotlight. First, the basics. Make sure you have your pet in a properly fitted collar or harness and leash. Then, if your pet is open to it, start accessorizing. Most dogs and cats will tolerate a cute bow tie or flower on their collar, like Romeo here. If it's cold, consider a sweater or, in the spring and summer months, a cute lightweight t-shirt. Before you head to set, make sure to know your pet. That means the name and age, as well as any special needs or fun facts about that pet and what kind of home they would do well in. Once you're on set, ask which camera is focused on you, then position yourself and the pet to face it. Also, ask how much time you'll have for the segment. The shorter the segment, the more you need to focus and provide the most pertinent info. This is a 90 second segment with Liberty Chan of KTLA 5, who I've worked with several times. Good morning, everyone. It's my favorite time of the morning. We have pets on set, and we also have Michelle here from Best Friends Animal Society. And who is this beautiful, beautiful, lovely baby? This is Gloria. Would you believe she's 14 years old? Oh, she's amazing. She's so petite and pretty. She's beautiful. And she would be an awesome cat for a first time adopter because you can pretty much pick her up and handle her. And she loves to sit on your lap. She also walks on a harness. It's super cute. Yeah, she likes other little kitties. And even though she's a lady of a certain age, she's very healthy. She just has a hyperthyroid, so she needs um, medication that's very easily managed. And Gloria and all her plans at Best Friends are just $18 to adopt today, which is better than it usually is. It's usually what, like $25? Bucks? It's usually $25 to $50, and it's the last day of our new year, new you, $18 adoption. So we hope you come on down and meet Gloria. And if your New Year's resolution is to reduce stress, Gloria can totally help you with that. She's already yeah. reduced my stress, but <laughs> being around yeah. burrows all morning. It gets really stressful. So uh, we're going to keep Gloria here until 11 a.m. No, we're going to have her go back to a best friend with Michelle. But uh, go visit Gloria and find your new best friend at Best Friends Animal Society, Brand Boulevard in Mission Hill. Thank you so much for coming in. Hi. Happy New Year. Look at those eyes, right? Yeah, she's so beautiful. Pretty. She's so cool. She's had two songs written about her. Aw. Once you get familiar with a certain host or show, you'll know what to expect and feel more comfortable with the rhythm of that segment. What do you do if the pet that did fine in practice suddenly freezes up during the actual segment? That's what happened with Bethia during a pet project segment, as you'll see. Camera shy right now. Camera. Two years old. She's great on a leash. Good in the car. Sophia and all her friends. 
friends or just $25 to adopt it. That's for a adoption center. That's okay. Call the number on your screen, 818 643 3989. 818 643 3989. She is so sweet. She's only two. Yeah. Give her her forever home. Oh, coming up next. Oh my gosh, are you ready? One of the big stars from Sleepy Hollow and True Blood coming in. Don't go anywhere. So you'll know notice that I didn't try to force Bethia into performing or even really being affectionate with me because she was clearly uncomfortable. But just keep things positive and focus on the rest of your talking points and everything will be fine. On the other hand, you'll have pets that are extremely exuberant like Max Esquire on this home and family segment. I mean, I love her a lot of things, yeah. but I mean, when you have faces like that, it's like... What do we have here? Extraordinary looking dog, isn't it? It's yeah. very rock and roll. It's got a yeah. mohawk, a natural mohawk. Yeah. Uh, Michelle, tell us about this dog. This is Max Esquire. He's a Mexican hairless crossbred cattle dog. He's got a year old. He's a fantastic fetch player. <laughs> and he's very interested <laughs> in uh, scooching <laughs> right now. Oh, yes. And uh, oh, he makes a great perfect. dog. If you want me to talk of your block, you should adopt Max Esquire. I think he could be the next Instagram star. <laughs> attitude it's always important just to smile and carry on even if you flub a bit just have fun and the audience will too if you have an awesome bonded pair consider bringing them both on TV but make sure you have help with handling I couldn't have done this segment without our awesome volunteer Kim as you'll see small enough such as kittens or puppies or small dogs you can try handling them yourself sometimes the host or anchor will want to hold one while you hold the other which you can always ask about in advance of the segment or once you're on set live remote is the term for a news crew coming to your center and broadcasting a live segment or segments in LA this typically starts at 5 or 6 a.m. and lasts up until noon Here's a sample of a live remote with Fox that took place just before the Christmas holiday with Huck, my favorite dog at Best Friends LA. This was one of five segments that aired that day and it really drove traffic, so we were super grateful for the coverage. But there are other things that you can do. I wanna introduce you first though to Huck. He is the longest resident here at the Adoption Center. He's been here for two years, if you can imagine that, and he's a beautiful and sweet dog. Michelle, tell us just a little bit about Huck. Huck is eight years young. He is such a gentleman. He keeps his kennel clean. He's housebroken. He's great on a leash and good in the car. And he knows commands, which I'd like Amanda to show you while we're talking. So Huck has been here for two years. Uh, we know a lot of times after the holidays, people get puppies, kittens, and they're cute for a while, and then the family can't care for them. What's a better option than giving a, a dog or cat as a, as a holiday gift? A better option would be to give a gift card, a gift certificate, or cash where people can go and it would cover the adoption fee as well as any pet supplies that are necessary. Or you could even bring your friends or family to a shelter or rescue 
and all participate the adoption fee and the pet supplies once they've made their match. And we absolutely want to encourage adoption, especially during the holidays. And you're running a great holiday promotion here at Best Friends. We are. Tis the season to snuggle. It is cold outside. And ladies, look at this man. He would keep you so warm at night. He's awesome. Adoptions are just $25. And that includes the pet is fixed, vaccinated, microchipped, and ready to go home immediately. We're open noon to 8 p.m. Christmas noon to 5 p.m. And if you want to meet our pets in advance, you can go to bestfriendsla.org. And just $25, I mean, that's a great deal. And if you can't adopt a pet, you are accepting some donations as well. Yes, we would love any large dog sweaters. Or Huck here is wearing a very fashionable jacket. So anything that would help keep them warm. And I really encourage people to come out and meet Huck this holiday. He's awesome, and we'd love for him to be in a home. The best Christmas gift would be giving yes. this dog a home because he's been here for two years, if you can imagine that. Megan and Rita, we'll send it back to you. So a few things to keep in mind about live remotes. The reporter may get some information wrong. In this case, it was saying Huck was the longest resident at our center. Technically, that's not true, but it wasn't something I felt was necessary to correct on live TV. However, I would correct a reporter if they gave out the wrong phone number or website. Just pick your battles wisely. Once you agree to hosting a live remote, prepare in advance for the shoot by finding the quietest, brightest places to tape and lining up staff or volunteers to help with any pet handling if necessary. You'll also want to pick out the best pets to be in the segments with you. Usually the TV crew will want to tape B-roll to add to the segments that will air later in the day. I'll agree to this, but always ask that they avoid dirty kennels or dogs that appear overly anxious or reactive. Most of these people are pet lovers and understand that we want to show our pets in the best light. Lastly, as I mentioned, these live remote segments can take anywhere between two to six hours of your day. It's a hurry up and wait situation where you'll be hanging out with the crew in between segments. However, it's well worth your time, not just for the immediate coverage, but also for the relationship you're building with that reporter and that news station. No matter how much you prepare, sometimes segments just don't go as you planned or you don't say exactly what you wanted to. That's okay. The most important thing is your attitude, which this quote perfectly illustrates. They may forget what you said, but they will never forget how you made them feel. As for this photo, remember that cat Gloria from the KTLA segment? The woman on the right came down to adopt her the same day she saw Gloria on TV for her grandmother with Alzheimer's. That doesn't happen all the time, but when it does, it's the best feeling in the world. Just ask Natalie, our cat caregiver on the left. Gloria was her favorite cat at the center and mine too. We all cried tears of joy when she went home. Thanks so much for tuning in. Do you have any questions? I'm happy to help. Please feel free to email me at michellesaffi at bestfriends.org.